Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against Hello Vietnam Pro, Come Out Bro, and Rue Digga. And I'm gonna be with Akilo and I Am Justice. Now, this battle is actually quite challenging, for I will be playing as the supporting role at the very back in the middle, uh, middle back of the map, and the map is Raven's Hill. Two of my partners are alongside the left and the right, so yes. Um, before we start, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Let's go! Okay, so I'm the purple player, partner, blue, <coughs> Aquilo, Cian. This is I am Justice and uh, whatever. Let's go. All right here. I actually made a mistake here due to some ghost touch, so I am unable to produce or build an X facility within the deployment period. I never really ventured out in the middle or across the map to see, you know, um, to get more containers, as I'll be getting a lot of containers here on my side, and I would like to leave the rest to my partners. Okay, fast forward. And so, I'll be adding a bunch of stuff as I got like a ton of resources. Going HQ3 to get more resource uh, supply center, getting that resource income popping up all time high. Meanwhile, my partners are actually doing great here. Um, they, I, I believe they've actually made a mistake. Just look at this guy right here. Three supply centers. X facility, AV factory, typhoon. I mean, that's too much. I guess he's just adding two more supply centers, so I guess that was a little bit of a mistake right there. He didn't really have enough resources for that service initially, so he's going to have to wait for a bit and then produce it. Now, my partner right here, Akilo, is actually having a hard time for he actually had a huge amount of lag or big lag issues. I'm going HQ level 4 and I'm going to be adding supply centers later on as the battle progresses. There you go. And I'm going to go for 8 supply centers to juice up that supply income as I initially started out with 5 supply center going HQ 4. Now we see here that the green player tried to somewhat well got already got the super container and I didn't really get the super container because I was late <laughs> you see my partner was lagging he even um, missed up right there with the factory I believe for that factory is a little bit forward and is prone to being attacked from above that cliff right there the distance is quite short now partner is actually doing good pushing back the red player right here as their green player retreated now, ooh, that's very rare seeing Grenadiers at this rank. I'm guessing that those Grenadiers are maxed out. We see here my partner is having a hard time. This yellow player began constructing defensive towers around there like a sniper tower and so on. Now, let's see how it goes right here. We're going to have to unravel the whole map. Okay. So, my partner right here will be obliterated thanks to those Grenadiers. And it's not really looking that good since green deers are initially good against Cerberus. This guy is quite a genius if you're gonna be asking me. I really like to have the infantry be back in the meta, especially at higher ranks. Now this is what I'm talking about. That the factory was initially a bit too close to that cliff right there. Hence attacking it with the Jaguar or whatever unit that this yellow player has will be quite easy. Since this uh, partner Aquilo is having a hard time due to the fact that he was lagging at the start. Meanwhile, I'll have to position four of my infantries from above the cliff to gain high ground vision to see if, if there will be any pending attack. Since nothing's coming on my way, I'm gonna have to tech up and help my partners later on. I'm just hoping that they could hold out. And it appears that's not gonna be the case as this red guy just double tapped on the... <laughs> yeah, he literally just double tapped as those... Oh, and just now, he changed target. So he is going after that vehicle factory, I believe. Okay, green player pitching in here with the attack with some rifleman, dragonfly, as well as the wasp. My partner going for that seraphim. 
and initially they're gonna go and ignore everything here and just go after the X facility I would say that's not really a bad choice meanwhile partner right here vehicle factory was obliterated written but not after that Zeus popped out now the mammoth wow okay I mean I didn't know that I got like that much influence for mammoths to be used after I used it a bunch of times Oh, solid hit right there. That X facility will surely go out of count or it will go be destroyed. Now, that Seraphim is absolutely tough for, as you guys can see, I mean, yeah, there's like a meat grinder and the red player solely focused on that Seraphim with the Porcupines. Same thing with the green player because normally the Porcupine will attack the Cyclone unless the Porcupines were ordered to attack specifically the, porcup the uh, Seraphim. Now I'm going to have to assist my partner here and I'm also going to have to assist my partner here. So I'm going to have to assist both of my partners from both sides who are actually having a hard time. That Seraphim is still alive though trying to pick up a um, oh wow he actually landed. Okay there you go. Partner is having a lot of trouble here as two players are ganging up on him. My Zeus are going to arrive just in the nick of time while his uh, important buildings are still intact. Meanwhile, my partner is being sieged by those mammoths from afar from the yellow player. He's actually not doing bad. Not doing bad right there. Sieging up at the start. Partner going for cyclones against any infantry. Torrents. I love that. Okay. Meanwhile, as for me, I'm going to have to take advantage of the lack of porcupines around here and kill the jaguars so that my Zeus will have more freedom moving around. It's just that I have the only issue that I'm having is that annoying grenadier. As we all know, a few Zeus is not really good against it. Now the number of those jaguars are slowly building up and just now my partner had level 3 vehicle factory. Now, oh, good lord. That is so not looking good. Oh my gosh. That's so not looking good right there. That one Zeus will definitely be destroyed. Oh wow. He actually managed to defend against it with those torrents and rocket towers. Oh wow. That sniper tower Imba. <laughs> Killing a Zeus. Alright. Solaris is about to pop out. And uh, my Zeus right here is still available partners of vehicle factory we managed to salvage x facilities being rebuilt and my partner has three supply centers no four he actually didn't rebuild the others and now this guy right here is in a world of trouble and i'm going to have to try and support my partner uh akilo with the vertex now that mammoth is definitely maxed out for four my vertex can't really destroy it in one shot well, maybe it just uh, maybe that my vertex are not maxed. They're only maxed for rank 21. That may be the case. All right. Well, that's great for that yellow guy. Okay, I got like four Zeus right here and a Typhoon going five Zeus. Meanwhile, red player amassing that army once more. Still level three HQ. Level three H. Oh, four HQ. Level three HQ, and so on. They freely managed to grab a hold of the ton of containers here in the middle of the map here for the green player scoring a lot of resources for that. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to go for mobility. Mobility means avia as it can fed. So we're going to go for that and support our partners from behind the scenes. There you go. A single class 5 Solaris pushing away those army from the yellow guy, giving my partner a time to breathe. Meanwhile, this green player is moving towards attacking my partner once again. Hence, I left my Zeus around here for there are no upcoming attacks coming my way. Although, if they did try to attack me, I do have my Vertex and a Thor right here and a bit of Zeus and a shield to help me defend. And I can just add up more defensive buildings if need be. Okay, that supply, centers will def that supply center will definitely be destroyed. Again, Seraphim is here. Just now, adding more supply center as the blue guy and an additional uh, rocket tower and a bunker against those grenadiers, which is absolutely not a bad idea. And, ooh, that's absolutely nice. Usage of dragonfly mixed in with the jaguar. Grenadiers, porcupine from both the green and the red are absolutely wicked 
Seraphim Blast right there. Leviathan coming over here to help out. Meanwhile, my partner and I here, Aquilo, are launching a counterattack towards this guy, although there's not really that much Zeus to work with. However, those torrents are raining rampage in those buildings as well as dealing collateral damage. Okay, Leviathan already dealt the nuke damage, destroyed a bunch of units. My partner already has like one Zeus remaining as the other one has been destroyed. A Seraphim, a Zeus, three Typhoons, a Rocket Tower, and a Bunker is all that remains. Meanwhile, I got like my poor Zeus around here along with a Shield Generator and two Typhoons to help out. Alright, so I instructed my partner right here to, of course, Aquilo retreat, as this guy had two Avia Factories producing those Dragonflies. So we're gonna have to retreat as I can't really do much about it, at least for the time being. And I'm gonna have to use my Vertex in order to assist this blue guy, or blue partner, as this guy is more of a tr in trouble than that of my partner, Aquilo. Alright, now the nuclear has just been, you know, has just launched. Oh, and uh, some of the Vertex did not really fire. That's my bad. Okay. And we all know how it's going to be, you know, how it's going to go right here. Pitching in with the help. Seraphim support. Nice. That's Seraphim 600 resources. Really, really paid off for its price. Okay. Managed to destroy all those Jaguars from the green player, resetting the army count to all those units that are rallied up to this place. Meanwhile, I'm going to send more reinforcement over to the blue player as two players are ganging up on him. Okay. Yellow player is actually on his own dealing versus Aquilo and my partner has like a vehicle factory and is actually not doing bad. Although I kind of wish he added more supply centers to gain that more, uh, to gain more resource income. Meanwhile, this green player trying to gang up, uh, you know, flank me from the side with the mobility of those Jaguars and yeah I'm actually all over the place in this battle supporting both my partners okay Vertex are now going to undock in the hopes of destroying those Jaguars and Dragonflies there you go okay coming back for more Leviathan around here once again and as we all know Leviathan is actually very good for 1100 resources nice okay there you go launching the nuke i'm gonna have to tank it because i'm confed oh very cute all right well after launching the nuclear that 1100 resource will be destroyed by my vertex and it has anti-air now as my vertex will go ahead and undock and or dock to refuel themselves I'm actually saving up resources to go for a space strike, adding more power plant for that space strike to have enough power. Meanwhile, my partner is not properly equipped against those many dragonflies. He does have typhoons, however, it's not going to be enough. Although he got, he got like a huge army against the land army composition of this guy, he's actually plainly safe. This guy right here, ooh, that's a bunch of jaguars. Red player, also a bunch of jaguars. Oh man, resistance all over the map. Okay, one of my vertex has been destroyed and so on. Meanwhile, space system here. I'm actually being quiet and I'm not revealing my trump card, the Thors here, for I wanted to bomb those chameleons if ever they appeared. Because if I used it now, the enemy will be aware and will have to move their units around again and again. And that's not what I wanted to happen. I wanted to be, you know, I want to catch them off guard. Meanwhile, I actually had the uh, dumb idea of using the Solaris to go over there and attack with the skill. Although, that's not really a bad idea. However, my Solaris is actually low in health. Nah. Okay, that's my bad. LOL. Again, green player having a field trip with those resources from the super container. Man. You are Imba, Mr. Green Guy. Okay. Red guy right here, trying to go for a chameleon. However, I could not really contain this anymore. So I'm going to have to use my Thor after which. Because dealing with the players with two chameleons right after this guy right here. As you guys can see. Just now, I saw his base. He has a ton of factory, three factory, three factory. 
to avia end and research facility this guy right here also have hq level four from what i can see there you go going for a chameleon so i really can't afford both of them attacking my partner with that as he's just going level four hq that's a really bad thing although my partner akilo is doing a very good job in terms of laying waste or countering what this yellow player has to offer okay space strike is now on the way i'm not really in a hurry to use it so i'm using a resource boost instead okay so much for that scout going to have to use my the rest of my vertex in order to attack some stuff right here and destroy um some units if i can oh my goodness man you are in danger so i'm going to have to alert my partner akilo to retreat and deal with that upcoming threat from the green player who's trying to support his partner the yellow meanwhile i'm going to have to use the thors to bomb that special vehicle factory to destroy it delaying that chameleon meanwhile oh my goodness man oh solid hit there with the thor those uh jaguars are badly bruised up thanks to the torrents although those jaguars actually got rid of the torrents first before of the zoos i mean that's not a bad idea at all if i'm being honest okay however those jaguars are so low on health thanks to the torrents from akilo okay i actually tried to bomb but yeah as expected since they saw the thors that bombed the special vehicle factory they're going to have to move their army around well i kinda can't do anything about it instead of them having chameleons it would be easier to destroy the factory right now um then wait his army will be obliterated the leviathan will come over here and again their green player is trying to attempt and destroy my partner additional anti-air has been added solaris has been reproduced and i'm going to send my solaris over to me to Akilo in the attempt to help him. Meanwhile, mammoths from this guy. Okay. I often see mammoths nowadays. I wonder who made that meta. Alright. So, Leviathan is here. The passive has already been exhausted. My vertex coming in. Nuclear. Okay. And space strike for me. Bam! Okay. And here we go. Here we go, Tracy. Bam. okay all those buildings has been obliterated and just instantly became a dust units being bombed what a solid hit majority of the units or the land army mass from this uh, green player has been obliterated with that two thor bombing run now you absolutely can't do anything right now and those units that you produced are initially going to be your last there you go thor's to finish up the hq and uh, my partner right here we're gonna is going to have to defend himself he's actually using the walls um being an artist here architect all of a sudden i didn't know that he was such a guy although that's not a bad idea i mean just look there's still a lot of this uh from this guy right here however you do have six zeus and my solaris to help him out this guy right here will be obliterated as my partner already has a Solaris and now I'm in a hurry to attack them both. Oh, and the clash right here. There's absolutely no shield from these guys. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, so the army of Aquilo and my Solaris will now go ahead and finish off the green player's army as that's the final unit that he'll be ever be producing not really a solid bombing run but ooh nice skill usage okay so just the hero oh wow double sh one shot two kills wow okay Aquila will go ahead and push this guy right here and obliterate his base as well as this green guy although majority of his forces has been destroyed due to bad engagement as this red guy had a ton now i'm going to have to obliterate this red guy with the space strike next and they can't really do anything about it they have no avia 
Ew. Pew. Okay, not gonna lie, that HQ is upgraded. Okay, and then of course I'll have the rest of my stuff bomb. Alright, so I think it's clear as day as to who will be winning this battle. And yeah, that's how you play the support role. Likewise, guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and turn on the notification to all notifications. Uh, I am a player who plays both faction, and uh, I play it for fun. No insults or whatever, just fun. W well, a bit sarcastic, but yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching. Do check out my previous videos as they contain tips, tricks that can help you win a battle. Likewise, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Resistance, even boy! Resistance! Oh no! Oh, look at the door, Imba! Oh, resistance! Oh, oh resistance! Oh, super Imboy resistance! I don't know what to do! Resistance, Imboy! No, resistance, Imboil. <laughs> All right, bye.